All right, welcome back. We're gonna do the uh, Old Faithful today, a pulled pork. Um, I bought about an eight and a half pound pork shoulder. It is right behind me. We're probably six and a half or so hours in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch you up to speed here on all that we've been doing uh, starting last night. All right, so for pulled pork, um, there's a lot of different ways that you can season it. Early on when I started doing these, I used yellow mustard. It worked, I stuck with it. And that's kind of the, the theme of this is there's not, you know, there's a lot of different ways to go about this. So again, I've seen people do different kinds of mustard. I've seen people use olive oil. I've seen people put nothing on it, just dry rub and that's it. All right, so then after, after the yellow mustard's on, what, what I did is make, made my own a blend of five different seasonings. We have salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, okay? So for those five, let's say three parts, uh, salt, pepper, paprika, to maybe one part garlic powder and onion powder. And again, you, you do whatever you want. All right, so before I even put any mustard or dry rub on it, uh, you'll see that I'm cutting some fat off. Now again, I, I hope none of you are cringing because the fat does provide flavor and some people don't touch it at all, but as you can see, this one, in my opinion, was, was really fatty on top. Just trimming a little bit and you'll see that I'm gonna leave a, a, plenty of fat on top. Okay, so mustard is going on and, and as you can see there, again, I'm not measuring this, just, just squeezing some on there. Um, rub it on both sides uh, in, there, in there well and then gonna go ahead and mix the seasonings um, and then pretty generously apply that on top. All right, so everything is, uh, is this pork is seasoned up. Um, as you can see, so we're, we're, we're good for tonight. All you have to do is wrap it and you're good. You just go ahead and set it in the fridge and you know get some rest because it's gonna be a long day tomorrow. All right, so we have uh, arrived to tomorrow now. Um, so this morning woke up and about an hour before I knew it was gonna go on the, the big green egg. Take it out, just set it to the side. Um, the idea is to get the, the meat to room temperature or close to it as opposed to just taking it right out of the fridge and right on the, uh, right, right on the smoker. Um, I think it just, it, it, smoke hits it a little bit better if it's, it's had some time to, uh, you know, to get back to room temperature. Uh, last night, uh, clean the grill, which I think is very important. Um, you know, these big green eggs, if you have one, you know that the ash builds up in the bottom. But for this, I wanted fresh charcoal, so I went ahead and just cleaned all that out. So this charcoal that's going in is, uh, is Cowboy brand. I've used it before. Uh, this is pretty common. Found this in, uh, in Lowe's and I like it. As you start to, to smoke things more and cook with it more, you realize that you want the charcoal that has bigger pieces. Uh, but, but as you can see, I'm selectively putting aside a few today that are bigger because those are the ones that I want to start with on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this tumbleweed and throw it. I made just a little little hole there. Throw this thing in there um, as it gets as it gets going. Just put a few pieces of charcoal on top. Close it. Give it you know five to seven minutes at least before you can check on it. But it'll do its thing. I've never never put one of these tumbleweeds in there and it hasn't lit and, and got the charcoal going. All right. So temperature wise, I've uh, been been able to keep it between probably 275 and 300 and. Uh, you know, that's, that's right where, that's, that's a good spot to be. All right, so from doing this enough, I know that with this weight of, you know, this weight that we have, eight and a half pounds, um, you know, you're good between, call it four and a half to six hours. And today, I didn't open it for an hour and a half. When we first started, I, I, that smoke is kicking. I want, I want all that smoke hitting that uh, pork as much as possible. So didn't even touch it for the first hour and a half. And then from an hour and a half to five and a half hours, I spritzed it with beef broth um, anywhere from every 30 minutes to an hour. So beef broth, I will say, is pretty original. I, I don't, I don't know many people that do that. And if you look, if you look up 10 different recipes, probably seven of them have you spritzing it with apple juice or, or apple cider vinegar. Um, but important to keep it moist. But as far as exactly what you're spraying, I think there's a little bit of leeway there. So I, you know, I went with beef broth. Uh, we we pulled it to wrap it at five and a half hours. What we did was I started temperature probing it. Uh, I think it was 167 is when I ended up pulling it. So I even let it go a little bit higher. Went ahead, took it off, wrapped it. I've always been a foil guy. I've done that plenty of times. And I will tell you that today is the first time I'm doing butcher paper, but pretty confident just based off of things I've read. So we'll see how it turns out. We're gonna go back on the smoker and not gonna touch it. I mean, don't even have to, don't even have to 
look at it because we're not worried about the smoke now. Smoke has nothing to do with it. This is literally just turned into an oven. So I'm um, going to keep it at the same temperature. Planning on doing at least two and a half hours before we even temperature probe it, but probably around three hours. What we're looking for here is for it to get to about 200 degrees. All right, so uh, we have been on close to eight and a half hours, and I think we're, we're about ready to, to check the temperature one last time, pull this thing. Let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we're, uh, we're at over 200 degrees, just pulled this thing, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes, and then we will unwrap it and uh, see what we got. Nice and tender. All right, so we're all done here. Um, pork has been shredded, very tender, very happy with it. Um, so we are going to, you, you could eat it like this, a lot of people do, but we're gonna use this TD's Brew and Barbecue Sauce. Um, asked everybody that we're serving tonight around the board, everybody likes this style, so goes well with the pork and uh, and that's it I mean I think it went really smooth um, hopefully you, you followed along and, and understood everything um, but simple pretty pretty simple process a long process but um, one that's enjoyable and uh, yeah hope you hope you get to try it out enjoy it with your family